After you create a new report, you will then see the Database Expert dialog box. This dialog box allows you to select the source of the data that will be used for the report. The pane at the left side of the dialog box lists the set of available types of data connections which you can use to connect to the desired data that you want to use for the report. You can click the small plus signs next to each folder to expand them and view existing connections or launch a dialog box that will allow you to connect to a data source of that type. Under the My Connections folder, you can click the small plus sign next to this folder to display a listing of the most recently accessed data sources on your machine for easy access to data sources which you have recently used. Under the Create New Connections folder, you can click the small plus sign next to the folder to then see another list of folders which display the names of the various types of possible data connections that you can use for the report. You can then click the plus sign next to these folders to establish a new data connection to a data source of the selected type. Next you will need to input any additional information in any dialog boxes that appear to connect to your desired type of database file. Now once you've made this connection, you will then see any tables, views, stored procedures, or other data within the selected data connection shown within the left pane of the Database Expert dialog box. Once again, these are shown in a collapsible and expandable section within the data connection. When expanded, you can click the icons of the tables or other data that you want to add to the report in order to select them, and then click the right pointing arrow to add the selected data to your report. The data will then appear within the selected tables pane at the right side of the Database Expert dialog box. Once you've added the necessary data into the right panel for use within your report, you can then click the OK button within the Database Expert dialog box to set the report's data source. In the next few lessons within this chapter, we will review making connections to the most commonly used types of data sources.